Come on, man. Adam, I believe you're up first. Actually, Booger's up first. I am up oh, first. Okay. We're going down to the bayou in Louisiana. LSU hosting Southern. Brian Kelly, there's my coach. That's my coach, by the way. <laughs> Guess what? A completion, an incompletion on third down for Southern. Just a regular old incompletion. No big deal. But here's what you get. Who in the hell is this guy that just walks out in the middle of the field and just stand there? And it took forever for security to come out. I mean, he's just hanging out, just standing there. Security, where are you? That's his what is this man thinking? Come on, man. And then, guys, we got the Bills visiting the Rams, and Von Miller decided to put to let it all hang out. Got his shirt off, <laughs> giving high fives to his old teammates. But then, when you look at his helmet here, they're going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, it looks like he's got a puzzle piece on his head. Oh, maybe he's the missing piece for the Bills to get there. But Von Miller, come on, man. It's that new hairstyle. All right, the Jets are hosting the Ravens yesterday. Braden Mann is on to punt, and when he takes the punt, he shanks it out of bounds. He can't even see where this punt goes. Everybody's confused. Where is this punt? Robert Sala, the Jets head coach, is none too happy about where this punt was. But when we see the replay, it's like a foul ball. The oh, punt wow. is so brutal, it goes out of bounds like that. So really, what we need to do from now on is change the punt to name from Braden, man. To come on, man. That's his new name. Come on, man. Took you all that time to come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, Army faced off against University of Texas, San Antonio. The referees in the motions of going through the coin toss and asked the Army player, did he want to pick heads or tails? The Army player told him he wanted to go with heads. So the referee hit him in the head with the coin toss. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Ref, what are you thinking, Ref? You got to be better than this. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. Come on, man. All right, Packers visiting the Vikings. Aaron Rodgers early in the game. Throws a deep ball to his young receiver, Christian Watson. And Watson goes ahead and... Oh, Christian, no. Now, look, Jerry Rice dropped some balls earlier this Chris, so don't worry, Christian. But there wasn't come on, man, back when Jerry Rice dropped them. So I'm sorry, buddy. And here's what Aaron Rodgers had to say about it. Christian, come on, man. You got to catch that one. <laughs> and, guys, there's a bonus. Yes, we uh -oh. have one more. There's a bonus, come on, man. Oh! <laughs> From earlier tonight. Somebody, hey, somebody actually dropped that speed. Could be the Hulk. Hey, track speed's different now. Yeah, you, you ain't ran track in a long time. I'm a runner. I'm a runner. I'm a track star. You're not, not a track star. <laughs> Out oh. now. Jimmy is in. Let's do Come On Man for real. You're first. Well, we go first to Abilene Christian, Susie, and that is the site of this one with Abilene Christian visiting Missouri. Abilene Christian's receiving the punt here, and Kendall Catalan calls for a fair catch, and look where he does it, inside <laughs> his own one yard line. Have you ever seen anybody That's get hard that to do. close? That's hard to do. Line? Never seen. He toes the line and downs the Watch ball. Watch jump back in, though. Inside <laughs> the <laughs> one we'll Jump back in. There we go, right there. <laughs> hey, Kendall, cat on. Come on, man. All right. <laughs> Indiana hosting Western Kentucky. Indiana, last play of the end goes to the Hail Mary. Connor Basilak. Back deep. Everyone back to the end zone to defend. Everyone back. Everyone back. Everyone back. Everyone. Oh. How about some spatial awareness, folks? <laughs> Just wave it goodbye. Let it go. It's too far. Oh, you guys, look at this. It's like a bunch of lemmings headed for the center south. Like, we don't need to follow the ball. It's okay. It's out of bounds. Come on, man. Bing bong. <laughs> Oh, man, guys, that was beautiful. And then we got the Dolphins visiting the Ravens. Tua Tunga by Aloha. Going to drop back and hit Mike Gesicki for a touchdown. And then Gesicki's going to get up and celebrate. But don't you dare call that a gritty. Oh, I don't know what that is. What My is man, that? the kid Gallery on Instagram said it's called the Giddy Up. But here, we got a flashback. Oh, oh. That's, that's a gritty. Schefter. That's what gritty. is he doing? Oh, my no goodness. Shepherds. That gritty is so unseasoned. I don't know what, what to do with it. Oh, my Lord. Here we go. Gesicki, tweet, Gesicki tweeted and said he, it looked better when he was in the bedroom. But my, oh, my. That was more like the griddle. Hey, Mike Gesicki, come on, man. Hey, wow. The score was 28-7, by the way. <laughs> I love it. Washington hosting Michigan one. State. Michael Penix Jr. to Jalen Polk for a 53-yard touchdown. And then we're going to go to the stands because the celebration is coming. Washington fans are going crazy. Look at the sword fight. Players. That's a new celebration. And then the shirt comes off. Let's get wild tonight. <laughs> Here we go. But guess what? That's not even the best of all time in Washington. Let's go back to 2013. Stanford versus Washington State. And a come on man Hall of Famer. Popcorn guy. 
One thing we can say about the great Northwest, things get funky, things get wild. I'm not sure how he's breathing. How do you eat and breathe? I don't know. That's enough for another story. <laughs> hey, Washington fans, come on, man. <laughs> Flashbacks are big, and we have a bonus. Uh -oh. This edition of Come On, Man. This was oh. us last oh. December in Buffalo. Remember this, guys? Randy's oh, wow. notes never to be seen again. The wind took those. That's why. Man, we almost are almost blue. Chef off the. Yeah, if you want to wanna know, if you want to know why we're here in New York instead of in Buffalo, it's because beefs on Sunday night. A couple more stops to make tonight. First up, come on, man. Boog, you're first. Oh, you got to love it. You know where we starting at? My main man, Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh -oh. Jimmy, welcome back. Jimmy Garoppolo takes the snap. And Jimmy, you got to know where you at, man. You can't step out of the back of the end zone. And then on top of that, you throw a pick. <laughs> but then you can step out of the back of the end zone, have just a little bit more awareness, Jimmy. But this got us thinking. Let's go back in a Come On Man Hall of Fame. It's our old buddy, Dan Olasky, who tweeted, finally, I'm off the hook. Freedom. No, Dan, you're not off the hook. You took 25 steps out of the back of the end zone. So what was are you doing? Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> are you kidding me? Come on, man. All right, minor league baseball. Memphis Redbirds hosting the Gwinnett Stripers. Uh, Delvin Perez, long, go, go. Oh, it looks like it could go, it could go, it could go, it could go. It's... Oh, warning track. But Delvin thinks it's a home run. He's trying. <laughs> Look at him pointing. I got this. Stuff. Home run truck. There we go. <laughs> Taking the distance. And then he's. Uh, 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 uh. Delvin, it's going to. You Look at the bat flip, guys. Look. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Flip it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's gone. gone. It is out of here. Delvin Perez thinks it's, oh, no, it's not. Sorry, guys. The trot was for nothing. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, let's go to the Bills visiting the Dolphins. 18 seconds to go. Josh Allen finds Isaiah McKenzie. He fights for extra yardage, but there's no timeouts, and the clock is ticking. Buffalo can't get the snap off to spike it for a game-winning field goal attempt. So rather than get the game-winning field goal attempt, the game is over, and Bills offensive coordinator, Ken Dorsey is not happy. He loses his mind. Uh -oh. He acts uh -oh. the way that our producers do when we talk past the time when they tell us to get out. <laughs> Ken Dorsey throwing everything around. Come on, man. <laughs> Listen, staying with the Dolphins hosting the Bills, Thomas Morstead punting from his own end zone, and he punts the ball right off the keister of Trent Sherfield. I can just hear Baby Got Back playing in the background. Unbelievable. Watch it again. Right off the point. Right there. I mean, you can't be doing that. Let's listen to what Tyreek Hill thinks about it. Yeah, I've never seen a butt pump before. I've <laughs> never seen a butt pump before. He's going to go into the film room. He's going to correct it. You know, and next time he's going to catch it with his butt cheeks because he got strong butt cheeks. <laughs> hey, I'm with you, Tyreek. I guess this is what happens when booty cheeks attack. You got to be careful. Hey, Thomas Morstead and Trent Sherfield. Come on, man. I got so many questions coming off that. It's unreal. I mean, so many. <laughs> but, so many questions. And uh, we're closing in on kickoff, so we got to get to it. Adam, come on, man. You're first. Leading off, well, let's go to Seattle yesterday, or Detroit, where the Seahawks were playing the Lions in the early game yesterday, and DK Metcalf was going against Detroit, but he also simply needed to go. At one point, Metcalf gets taken off the field to the tunnel via medical part. You're wondering, what's wrong? Is it his shoulder? Is it his knee? Is it his head? But then he tweets that Finch Walk wouldn't have made it because he needed the cart to take him to the bathroom. When you got to go, you got to go. DK Metcalf, come on, man. We have Cincinnati hosting Tulane. Quarterback Clayton Toon throws it out of the backfield to running back Brandon Campbell. And every single play, there's a hammer in the nail. Never do you think the player on offense will be the hammer on their teammate that is a nail. That, that, that's crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Come on, man. All right. Diamondbacks at Giants. Lamont Wade Jr. hits a foul ball deep, deep into McCovey Cove where all the kayakers are waiting for the home run ball. There's a mad scramble. And look at the dexterity of this group of threesome. They, they're on, they're on. I got, I got, how about McCovey Cove Dave? <laughs> comes in and scoops it up. But after all that effort, I will tell you what, Dave gave the ball back to this nice woman who just really was fighting for it. But hey, how about some athleticism? Come on, man. 
Let's go to our favorite owner, old Jera. See, Jerry, he's been on this once or twice. Let's flash back to 2013. Jerry has some cell phone issues going back. Jerry used an old flip phone, you know? Nobody's used the flip phone in forever. What about 2012? Jerry has a guy just to wipe his glasses. That's how rich Jerry is. Somebody just to wipe the glasses. Now, fast forward to yesterday. Jerry's trying to take a selfie. I don't know why. Jerry got enough money. He can hire a photographer. But for some reason, he wants to take a selfie. has to find somebody to take the selfie for him. That's when you know you have too much money. You have no idea how to use a phone. Jerry, come on, man. And then we got the Broncos hosting the Raiders. Amik Robertson finds a Melvin Gordon fumble fall right into his arms for a recovery and run 68 yards to the house. But I want you to watch Garrett Bowles here. This is the type of effort people give when they say they're on a diet, but they're really not. Shoot or shoot, young man. He's a Dan Campbell type of guy trying to bite off kneecaps. Right when he jumped, he said, Broncos country, let's ride. Garrett Bowles, come on, man. <laughs> Cowboys, Eagles, Bills, Chiefs. It's going to be a great week six. And for right now, it's time for Come On, Man. I don't know who's first. <laughs> All right, Susie, we're going to go out now to Los Angeles. Cowboys at the Rams with the Cowboys lining up for an extra point. Long snap from Matt Overton. It's his first game with Dallas. He prematurely snaps the ball and doesn't see that holder Brian Anger isn't looking at him. The ball hits Anger in the arm, squirts away before the kick can be attempted. You're not looking up. Matt Overton, Brian Anger, what are you doing? Come on, man. All right, Seahawks visiting the Saints. Seahawks rugby-style punter Michael Dixon takes the snap deep in his own territory, running right. What? Wait, what? Can't decide if he wants to keep running or punt, but runs out of time, gets smacked by multiple Saints and fumbles. Michael, at some point, it's time to punt. you got to make a decision and, oh, at least not fumble it. Michael Dixon, come on, man. How about a little college football on Saturday? Number 21, Washington at Arizona State. Huskies quarterback Michael Penix Jr. looking to throw over the middle, but his pass hits the back of the head of one of his own linemen and bolts up into the air. Right into the lap of ASU defender Jordan Clark, son of ESPN's very own Ryan Clark, who takes it 38 yards to the house for the pick six. Steve, it's bad enough he's throwing with the wrong arm, but this is one of the things that can happen. Don't hey, ever, don't Michael Penix Jr. Don't pick on my left. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, guys, we got the Cardinals hosting the Eagles, and Kyler Murray showed up, said, "Ooh, I'm gonna kill him with this one." No, he didn't. Making fun of me and my homework class, so I'm gonna show up as a mini highlighter. <laughs> Kyler Murray. <laughs> He, he uh, measure. He showed up and looked like uh, Hillary Clinton. At the end of the day, we caught you in 4K, Kyler Murray. Oh, uh, my Lord. What are you doing? Come on, man. And last but definitely not least, hey, RG3 has tried to be a quarterback on our set. He's been auditioning. Uh, now he's auditioning in the band. Oh, Oregon State versus Stanford. RG's calling the game. What in the drum line are you doing? <laughs> hey, Kevin, I honestly have no idea. And then you're going to wear the drum, the, the drum hat. Come on, man. Oh. Now listen, hey. Time you think a week in the NFL can't get better, it does. It has been so much fun. A great ride. And now it is time for, come on, man. Adam, you're up. First. All right, Susie, we're going to start with the New England Patriots playing the Cleveland Browns. Bill Belichick is on the cusp of history. Going to try to tie George Hallis for second in coaching victories. Patriots on 4-22. Chester Rogers back to return for the Browns, muffs the punt, and rookie Brendan Schooler recovers the fumble. A little excited, celebrates with teammates, and then tries to give the game ball to Bill Belichick on the sideline. Belichick looks at him like, what are you doing, rookie? I don't want a game ball for this. I don't care about tying George Hallis' record. Brendan Schooler, come on, man. I don't even think Bill knew his name, but now we got the Vikings <laughs> at Dolphins. Teddy Bridgewater finds Mike Gesicki in the end zone for six. And let's flash back to last week. Or two weeks ago when Gasicki scored, and maybe don't you ever call this a gritty, but it was terrible, people. We called that one the giddy up. So he comes back this week and he hits the skedaddle. I can tell you, <laughs> Mike Doodle went to town. I don't know what Mike Gasicki is thinking, 
But hey, okay, man, you got a little favor to it. One. Come on, man. All right, SMU Mustangs. We'll get back to that in a second. The Mustangs, quarterback Tanner Mordecai goes up the middle, untouched for 60. Look at number eight. Look at the speed. I love that. And now it's time for the Mustang. No, sorry. Peruna the Pony to explode out of the TD post trot to leave some baggage behind. They call in the antibacterial team. And here comes in. He says, hey, you got some cleanup in aisle six. Out comes two cups. And 15 minutes later, we've got all of that baggage kind of cleaned up. That we call so it baggage? They continue to play. Peruna. Bro, you got to get rid of it early because you cannot bring it on the field, big timer. Come on, man. Not often do you two see two come on, man, in the same game. Here we have the quarterback under center trying to get the ball, uh, trying to spike it to stop the clock. Unfortunately, we saw the last play. There was a little residue left on the field, and it must have got a little bit on that football because it was a little too hot to handle for him. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ball got out of his hand. It was intentional grounding. Uh, Navy ended up losing that game, 40-34. Got to handle the ball. Come on, man. Come on. All right. Let's go to Monday Night Countdown last week. Steve Young live oh. on the set at 608. Looking like, you know what? He needs a fresh haircut. Look at him. Got the nice Mr. Belvedere comb over going right there. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I like it. Fast forward to 728. Steve back on the desk looking like he got a fresh cut. Now, during the show, Steve is getting a haircut on the sideline. Oh, about the difference. That's that Can anybody tell me the man. difference? Now, of all people, <laughs> I probably shouldn't be the one to say this. Bro. Yeah. Oh, here we go, people. We have to say that the Carlos Thursday night football. It's time to give him the first half and Eddie Dalton throws it on the middle. Run west forward. Get it. Oh, it's Bobble and Marco Wilson with the first down. Marco Wilson takes it, and he says, oh, he's going to get the first down. It's into the end zone, and we get this really cool shot of Eddie Dalton frustrated and Marco Wilson coming in like a wrecking ball. Just hang that one in the loop, people. It should be an NFT immediately. Hey, Andy Dalton, who threw that pick? You! Come on, man! There we go, a little college football. West Virginia at Texas Tech. Mountaineers kicker Casey Leg lines up and drills a 38-yard field goal. But he appears to get hit on the kick. And he's on the ground in pain. Is he dead? To his teammates, you know, to get up. All of a sudden, he's fine. Replay shows that the Texas Tech defender barely touches his ankle. Ah, oh, God. Leg, a fitting name. What is this? Nearly? Hey, Casey Leg, come on, man. On a college game day in Oregon this past Saturday, Lee Corso getting ready to make his pick between UCLA and Oregon that's handed the duck head by the Oregon Duck, but he also gets a live duck who doesn't like the set too much and flies away. Moments later, the duck is returned to pressure. Still with the mascot head on, and all's well that ends well. Duck for that duck. And Oregon, lots of duck talk. What's going on there? Hey, Lee Corso, what are you doing? Come on, man. All right, back to Saints and Cardinals this Thursday night. DeAndre Hopkins playing his first game back from suspension. Gets a warm welcome from the Arizona crowd. One fan greets him with a sign when he won't come back. Opens. <laughs> Opens. <laughs> hey, like the offense for the Cardinals, the fans are winging it as well. Come on, man. 76 is Ed Celtic. James Harden with the ball at the top of the key. Makes some move to the basket and see if Marcus Smart climbs. And then Harden gives you a little shimmy. Uh -huh. And then he missed the shot so badly with Smart still lying on his back. I mean, there's a lot going on there from the Marcus Smart fake slide to the James Harden shimmy to missing the shot so badly. Come on, man. And here's the thing I'll say. If you're James Harden, you're going to shimmy. Like a a and Geno Smith rolls right and runs for 14 yards in the first down. But there's a flag on the play. And the flag is called because he Carroll runs into the ref on the sideline, but referee Jerome Boulder calls the penalty on which team? The Seattle Mariners are in their restricted area. Carroll called for 15 yard of sports like, come on, come on, man. I like it. Dolphins have a first and goal 
at the Lions one yard line. Raheem most of punches it in for the score, but there was a flag on the play. Lions Omani Ruwarie called for offsides. He didn't just line up offsides, he's a full yard in front of the ball. And, I mean, oh my you talk about no awareness. Omani, come on, man. Oh, that's bad. But here we got Cincinnati versus UCF and Bearcats quarterback Ben Bryant drops back and finds Josh Wiley on a sweet little touchdown. And while he starts to celebrate with, I can only amount to uh, being called a yeehaw, he's trying to get it. Gritty. But hey, there's a flashback to week two, the Ravens versus the Dolphins, and Mike Gesicki probably hit the worst gritty I've ever seen in my life. So bad that we called it the skedaddle. Oh, that's Listen, just... it's a plague of bad gritties right now. This is the gritty from Wish. Josh Wiley, what are you doing, buddy? Come on, man. How many times have we seen Gesicki? Steelers first and 10 from their own 22 with 25 seconds to go before half. Kenny Pickett dumps it off to Najee Harris, who is pushed out of bounds after a two-yard game. Harris proceeds to do the first down celebration with his arms, but he's eight yards away from the first down sticks. Oh, Are you man. really that desperate to celebrate? Wait for a real first down. And not Harris. Come on, man. And, and listen, by the way, to your point. I and it's time for Come On Man. Adam, you are up first. All right, Susie, the Raiders played here a couple of weeks ago versus the Saints, and they wound up not scoring a single point in that game when they played in New Orleans. They really struggled. And then ESPN analyst Jeff Saturday at the time tweeted during the game, the Raiders look horrible. Now Saturday's the coach, interim head coach, and his first opponent next week, the Raiders. Hey, Jeff Saturday, come on, man. Oh, you got to love this. Here we go. Chargers and Falcons. Chargers ball tied with 46 seconds left in the game. Austin Eckler fumbles, and the Falcons' Taquan Graham scoops up the loose ball. He's trying to get on house calls, but big fella, you got to hold on to the football. I want to put you on. I need you on, but you got to hold the ball. Taquan Graham. I hate to do this, man, but you lost the ball. Come on, man. Two weeks in a row, we got a basketball highlight here. Greatest forwards at all time. He's out here doing his thing. Daniel Gafford is trying to guard him best he can. And he touches the floor. Come on, then. You got to spread your legs a little bit wider so you stay on your feet, man. You can't do that. That's the greatest forward in the great game. KD doing what he always do. Come on, Gafford. Come on, man. All right, Iowa at Purdue. Three game as Purdue is getting ready to take the field on Iowa, but the Purdue train, the Boyle Lakers special, gets stuck and everyone leaves it behind. Iowa flag bearers come out, players have to run around it. Eventually, the little engine that couldn't get some help is pushed off the field. Matt! Boyle Lakers special, six times a year, just come out and chug 50 yards. Come on, man. And then we got the Vikings at the Commanders. Kirk Cousins leads a fourth quarter comeback against his former team, hitting Dalvin Cook for the touchdown. And after the sideways, Kirk Cousins wears a bland Viking sweatshirt, change, you know, from his usual flannel. This is the difference between the guy she told you you are and the guy not to worry about because Cousins comes out looking like vanilla ice rocking the chain on the team plane. Oh, my goodness. Kirk Cousins, it's not come on, man. It's Ice Man. And we got vanilla ice. Come on, man. Adam, you're up first. Come on, man. Come Sean Clifford throws it incomplete, but a penalty flag is thrown on the plate. 
can't rely on head coach James Franklin is called for unsportsmanlike conduct for yelling at the direction of his players, costing Penn State 15 yards. The drive would end with a field goal, and Franklin would punish himself <laughs> by doing push-ups. <laughs> James Franklin, <laughs> come on, man. Back in the end, the Buccaneers want to play in the third quarter of the Wildcats. Up the top, Tom Brady. Leonard Fournette takes a snap. Awesome coach. Tom slips and falls. Seahawks quarterback Tariq Woolen grabs an easy interception. Tom trips him. <laughs> hey, sometimes hey, Tom, as a friend, yeah, you're amazing. Seven Super Bowls, but it's nice to know you're human. <laughs> a friendly call, man. <laughs> Final stop here, Game Picks, brought to you by Caesar Sportsbook. Adam, who are Time now for Come On Man, and Steve, you're up first. All right, we've seen this. Interesting pregame warm-ups over the years. Quarterback Dak Prescott doing the twist. Remember that one? Oh, yeah, we love that. Giants quarterback Daniel Jones with the international sign of I Surrender. They're alone with that one. Book will love that one as well. Now Dak is back with a new iteration of the twist. Hey, hey, what is hey, this hey, hey, what is this hey, hey. You can do whatever you want to warm up. Just don't do it out on the field. Do it in the locker room. <laughs> what is Dak? What is Come on, man. Let's go. <laughs> Do we all? We have our own Adam Scheffner getting a personal <laughs> one-handed catch lesson by the great Randy Moss. Oh, that one was a little bulky, but hey, he secured it. But we got to go back to 2013. The reason that he's catching it with one hand now is because Chris Carter was trying to teach him a few years back how to catch the ball with two hands, and he had no success. Oh, he took wow. it right to the body. I don't know what he was thinking right now, Moss. CC, you guys got to help him, man. He needs some help. Come on, Get him man. some milk. We, we need that. We need that, though. I love it. Let's go to the college game, baby. Syracuse versus Wake Forest. Syracuse is on the verge of losing in the fourth quarter. Kicker Andre Smith comes out to practice, and he falls down. Not only does he fall down, he goes on to miss the kick. Oh. Now, listen, I understand slipping and all that, but if you're going to fall down and miss the kick, Andre Smith, come on, man. Oh, my goodness, that's so bad. But we got the Spurs versus the Warriors. Last Monday in the 49ers, Stars had a boys' night out at the Golden State Warriors game. Got running back Christian McCaffrey, Jimmy Garoppolo, George Kittle, and Kyle Juice Check. They call him Juice. Well, the Warriors dancers all come over to say hi only to Jimmy G. All the I mean, how do the other guys feel about this? Oh, we Maybe sure we should have got Zach Wilson in there. Maybe could have gave him a run for his money. But hey, everybody can't look as beautiful as Jimmy G does, especially sitting side on the, on the sideline. Hey, Jimmy G, come on, man. All right, Chiefs injured wide receiver McCole Hartman is home watching from his couch when Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert throws this touchdown pass to take the lead. And Hartman got so upset from home, he tweeted he's through his TV remote, breaking his TV. So, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes then throws a game-winning touchdown to Travis Kelsey. But Hartman has no TV and had to ask the Twitter community to see if his team won. There's his TV. Broken. Didn't see it. Hey, McCall Hartman. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, Adam, can I just say, you're such a weak. It's Monday. That means, come on, man. Adam, you're up. All right, Susie, we're talking about all the Rams injuries. Matthew Stafford, Aaron Donald. They almost had another one yesterday. Early in the first quarter, Rams sending out the punt return team. And Rams head coach Sean McVay gets knocked out by tight end Roger Carter, who's hustling out to the field, drills his underwear coach. Got to look both ways. The good part is Sean McVay's hair stayed absolutely perfect. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got Pittsburgh versus Miami in college. Midway through the fourth quarter, Miami just just scored, but it's still down 42-16 to 16 to Pittsburgh. And Pitt defensive lineman Devin Danielson gets upset. Maybe they told him that he couldn't have leftovers for Thanksgiving. But then he goes full rock'em, sock'em robots on his head, and he just entered the concussion protocol. I mean, his teammates, look at the reaction. They're mortified. I mean, hey, Devin Danielson, come on, man. All right, let's go in little Raiders Seahawks. First play of the game after the opening kickoff, Raiders quarterback Derek Carr is going to be intercepted by cornerback Quandre Diggs. On the sideline, Seahawks linebacker Daryl Taylor thinks the play is dead and runs onto the field, <laughs> but finds himself in the middle of the play and throws a block for Diggs. <laughs> Watch again as Taylor just runs into the action, completely unaware that the play is still going on and that there's 11 men already on the field. 
This kind of brings a whole new meaning to the uh, 12th man in Seattle. Hey, Daryl Taylor, come on, man. <laughs> I love it. Jacksonville Jaguars mascot Jackson DeVille is known for his high flying stunts, but Sunday he got our attention in a different way. Early second quarter, Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence finds your Michael Hasty for six in the end zone. Look who's celebrating. Jackson DeVille, except he's. <laughs> What does he have on? What? Hey, okay. Where you close that big fella? The Stars and Stripes Speedo dance moves may look a little different. Now, Jackson, where are your clothes at, buddy? I got one thing to say to you. Oh, come on, man. Now, listen, it's been a long time since I've put a thong on, and I promise you, I don't look like that in one. Booker should have put this. Kyle Shanahan said, you can still run the offense. But that's our setup for, come on, man, Adam, you're first. All right, Susie, we're going to go to the Dolphins and the 49ers game. What happened yesterday, Brock Purdy took over the offense on Sunday in a win against the Dolphins. But it wasn't his first action of the season. We flash back to Monday Night Football in Mexico City Week 11. Purdy comes in during a blowout, makes a great first impression by handing off the football to nobody. The running back goes to the right. Purdy goes to the left, but at least he's able to scramble and make something out of nothing. Better be better than that this Sunday against Tom Brady. Come on, Brock. All right, let's keep the same thing. Commanders, Giants, overtime. Just a couple minutes left. Giants quarterback Daniel Jones tries to hand it off, but his teammates don't know who's supposed to get the ball. Running back Saquon Barkley and wide receiver Richie James both collide, and then now Daniel Jones has to come up with something on his own. Now, wait a second. The game's on the line, boys. Richie, Saquon, come on, man. Late in the first quarter, Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback and pick grad hands it off to Najee Harris, and he delivers a devastating stiff arm to our guy, Richie Grant. He looked like the Winter Soldier in the Marvel Comics book right here. Just throwing him off to the ground. Punishing. This is unbelievable. Second time he's done it this year. Punishing. You got to be able to get that, drop that weight to make that tackle. Najee, come on, man. That's too dirty. <laughs> we got Weber State versus Montana State. Second round of the FCS championship. Weather in both of Montana is a piping hot 27 degrees. And late in the third quarter, Weber State's Abraham Williams catches the kickoff and stops. Right at the three-yard line. Oh, my goodness, but that wasn't it. Rewind. Here we go. Second quarter. Weaver State wide receiver. Ty McPherson holding the touchdown and goes into a full slip and slide all the way to the back wall. Oh, my goodness. That's not football. Come on, man. Oh, wow. I got to follow that up. Here we go. Chiefs versus Bengals. Late in the second quarter, the Chiefs are knocking on the door in the red zone. And suddenly, play is stopped. Safety Jesse Bates III is injured. Or is he? I don't mean to say the man's not injured, but let's take a quick look. He sees two guys coming on the field. They're about to break the huddle. Jesse Bates just fall down. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. I've seen better acting on Tiger King hurt. from Carol Baskin than Jesse Bates. Hey, Jesse, if we're going to do it, let's make sure we do it right. Come on, man. Are you? Let's get it rolling. Let's get it started. Jets versus Bills. Less than two minutes to go in half. Bills going for it on fourth down. Tight end Dawson Knox motions under. And C.J. Mosley has that moment that all defensive players have. Coach, I saw something. I'm going to go make a play. Here's the only thing. They didn't snap the ball, C.J. I see it, Coach. That's my tip. I've been waiting on it all week. I'm going to build sports center not so fast. But let's flash back. Troy Palomalo made this move famous. Troy actually did a little film study. Troy actually knew what was coming. He could anticipate the snap. So, C.J., next time we try to do this, let's go back and watch a little tape. C.J. Mosley, if we're going to make a play, we got to make the play. Come on, man. Titans driving late in the fourth quarter, running a hurry up with all the momentum is stopped when the referee trips and falls. <laughs> he's out here trying to do the moonwalk, and he's not watching where he's going. You got to know where you're going when you're moonwalking on TV. But the referee had to come in and stop the play, let him put his hat on, get the microphone back in his pocket. Come on, man. <laughs> all right, Senators versus Predators on the ice Saturday afternoon. Senators defenseman Thomas Shabbat is upset with his play and takes out his frustration on the bench by slamming his stick against the face of his teammate. <laughs> Travis Hamonic takes the stick right to the face. Look, Hamonic's like, you know what, this is a tough ball game enough. I got to sit here on the bench and take shots from my teammate. Thomas Shabbat, come on, man. Well, we got the Raiders and the Rams. Thursday night football inside the two-minute warning. The Raiders punt it. 
to the Rams two yard line. And before it being down, Raiders wide receiver Mac Hollins okay. hits the gritty during okay. the play. The Raiders celebrate the like they just won the game, but they just didn't know that the Rams had Amazon Prime the quarterback from Carolina by the name of Baker Mayfield, and he delivered one of the greatest comebacks of the year right on time. Hey, Mac Collins. Hold that gritty next time, brother. Come right. on, man. RG, same game after that game-winning drive by Rams quarterback Baker Mayfield. He finds his tight end Tyler Higby and gives him a headbutt. Baker does it again on the sideline, this time without his helmet. But we've seen this before. Flashback to Week 10. Baker may come on there with the Panthers, headbutting almost every member of the special teams without his helmet. Baker, you're on next Monday night in Green Bay against the Packers. Watch out. Be careful. Don't be doing that. Come on, man. <laughs> nuts. He's nuts. Head coaches at the Pro Bowl this year. All right, we'll see you over on ESPN2 at 7.13 local time. Closing in on kickoff, it is time for Come On, Man. Adam, you're up. All right, Susie, let's go to Cleveland where the coaches have play calling sheets that look big enough to be menus at a diner anytime. Huge, oversized menus. And in the stands, a Browns fan actually has his own menu from a diner in the stands at a wow. football game. He should order the Browns some pancakes off that menu. Hey, Browns fan, come on, man. Here we go, Colts and Vikings. In the first quarter, Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins takes a snap under center and immediately falls down. <laughs> his lineman, Ed Ingram, stepped on his foot, causing him to take the spill. Flashback to week 10. Cousins did the exact same thing against the Buffalo Bills, <laughs> even attempting to pitch wow. the ball to Dalvin Cook. <laughs> hey, <laughs> at least this somebody <laughs> he learned not to fumble the ball. Kirk Cousins, come on, man. All right, let's go to bowl season. The Lending Tree Bowl, Rice versus Southern Miss. Southern Miss running back Frank Gore, the son of legendary running back Frank Gore, ran for 329 total yards and three touchdowns. He had a message for all aunties. I knew how important this was for our team. Auntie, chill. I, I knew how important this is for our team. This was for our team. Auntie, chill. <laughs> See, sometimes when you run for 329 yards and you get to talk, the auntie's got to chill. Frank Gore, come on, man. <laughs> the Colts are the Vikings. Atlanta Braves mascot. Boomer is known for his antics at halftime. Oh, wow. He's out there Jordan memeing kids, just picking on him. There's a flashback to the preseason. Booper took the handoff. At, and the home turf and stiff on not one, not two, but three kids. Wow. Blooper. That's what child abuse. What are you doing, man? These are kids. You got to pick <laughs> on somebody your own size. Hey, Blooper, come on, man. All right, Patriots at Raiders. To no one's surprise, the most head-scratching play of the weekend. On the final play of the game, New England Patriots ladle the ball twice, but wide receiver Jacoby Myers tosses it to the Raiders defensive end Chan Chandler Jones, who takes off for the game-winning touchdown. Take another look as Jones takes the lateral. Mac Jones gets steamrolled and lose the football game. Come on, Matt. Give me I don't know Matt. what else. I've never seen anything like this, but just a huge. Steve, you're up first. All right, let's do this. Uh, Jaguars at Jets late in the fourth quarter. Fourth down, Jets QB Chris Strebler, Strebler passes the ball to wide receiver Garrett Wilson, who tries to make a move but coughs up the football. The Jets lose possession. But wait a second, let's take a closer look here. The Jaguars defender, as he's falling, kicks the ball out of Garrett Wilson's hands. That's how you make a play karate kid style. <laughs> Mr. Anagi, yes. Come on, man. Well, we got Louisiana versus Houston in the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl, and the Houston Cougars have your new favorite football icon, and his name is Hawk. After the cook of Hawk retrieves the tee in only the way a Hawk can, by flying around, belly flop, snags the tee, hustles back to the sideline, bell rolls in and lets out a yell that undoubtedly smells like whiskey and brisket. But it was so good, you have to watch it again. I mean, look at that glorious mullet. Hawk, you're a real football guy. You can play for me any day. But come on, man. All right, they don't call Chicago the Windy City for nothing. The Bills punt the ball in the third quarter, and the refs rule it down at the 11-yard line. But a Bills player never touches the ball. The wind keeps pushing the ball as the Bills players usher it along to the 10, 
to the five. <laughs> Finally, the ball stops, believe it or not, at the four-yard line, but the Bears somehow still get it at the 11. What's the deal? Refs, you can't do it that way. Wait till the ball stops. Come on, man. Well, we all know it was cold across America, Arctic conditions, but oh. now we got the Seahawks wide receiver. Hey, I'm going to show y'all how tough we are. Didn't do them any good in the game. They still got beat, oh. but I'm going to show y'all how tough we are. Everyone brave in the cold weather, pregame shirtless. What about Juju Smith-Schuster? <laughs> I'm going to show y'all how we do it. The Grinch on Christmas. Yeah, very original. I love it, Juju. But between the Seahawks receivers and Juju Smith-Schuster, come on, man. It's about 68 degrees in this studio. Boog wouldn't even take off his shirt in this studio. College football playoff semifinals. Georgia mascot, Ugga. The 10th <laughs> snores his way through the first half. <laughs> Completely dead asleep. It's past his bedtime. In the second half, Ugga is too tired to walk and has to be carried across the field as he wasn't too happy to be woken up after some camera time with the other mascots. Ugga, come on, your team's hot. Come on, man. All right, staying at the Peach Bowl, Georgia running back Kenny McIntosh takes the handoff, finds daylight, and breaks defender's ankles before Gone. he breaks his own. Oh. What was supposed to be an easy walking touchdown lands Georgia at the 10-yard oh, no. line. Got to watch out for that turf monster, Kenny. Hey, Kenny McIntosh, come on, man. Let's stay in bowl week. Coastal Carolina versus East Carolina. Watch the matchup at the top of the screen. Coastal Carolina runs into the end zone for a touchdown. But watch Tyler Robinson wide receiver. Coach, I blocked my man. I have my man, Coach. He's not making the tackle. Tyler Robinson, I get it. I love you, baby. That's what I call effort. But come on, man. Well, let's go to the NFL Sunday. The commander's quarterback, that's Carson Wentz. Back to pass. He's looking big, looking for the comeback. Now nah, that's his third interception of the game right there. Watch, he did. No chance, right? But nothing to worry about. Man, no sweat. Yeah, you, you guys have been eliminated. Right? Next week, if you guys are eliminated today by what happens at 4 o'clock, is Sam Howell in consideration? We can be eliminated. Yeah, if the Packers beat the Vikings, oh, then you guys are eliminated. Well, how, we'll see. how can you be a head coach and not know <laughs> that you're eliminated? Or what your playoff scenario is? That can't it's happen, tough right? Because now, you know, we're obviously out of the playoffs, and, and that's unfortunate. That's right. We actually still had a chance, and we made the playoffs. Oops. Oops. Come on, coaches. Come on, man. Hey, here's the first thing I'm going to say about that picture. You look a lot better now. Dude, I'm telling you, I was 350, but I was kicked.